A lot of people speaking out against those new parking meters recently installed on Spokane's Lower South Hill. Many claim they never knew the meters were coming. And even though the city council approved the plan to add those meters last year, some council members say the city needs to change how it adds new meters in the future. XY4's Alex LaFree shows us what the city wants changed. When most Spokane residents learn that new parking meters are going in, they aren't too excited. But when those meters go in without them even knowing, it can create a real problem. Well, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a surprise when you're expecting to not have a parking meter and it shows up overnight and it's there. A surprise might be a bit of an understatement. City council members like John Snyder have been inundated with complaints from students, business owners, and apartment dwellers about the new meters that were recently installed near Lewis and Clark High School and Deaconess Hospital. And, and we heard those concerns and said, yeah, that is an issue. We want to make sure that the council gets a chance to approve it, and that means it's, there's a two-touch public process. We allow it to uh, be on our advanced agenda, and then anybody can come down at our 6 p.m. Monday night meeting and talk about their concerns. And so last night, the council passed an amendment that requires council approval before any new parking meters can be installed outside of downtown. Because before, you know, city administration was just picking out areas on the map and I think they did some outreach, but people got missed. People like the Westminster Church. And now, you know, they have uh, a congregation that goes there for church every week and they're having problems finding places to park. The meters are expected to bring in about $50,000 in annual revenue. But Stuckert says the public's voice needs to be heard before these decisions are made. I think by bringing it to city council, we're going to have a much more public dialogue about whether that 50000 in revenue is really worth putting meters in other places. The amendment does not apply retroactively to the new meters already installed, but the city says it's trying to make the transition easier for drivers now forced to plug the meter. The city plans to launch a parking mobile app at the beginning of October that will allow you to find open spots and even pay with your smartphone. In Spokane, I'm Alex LaFreese, KXLY4 News.